to Big Hill, Indiana, home of the clean energy future. All right, so we're here with Jim Stanley on a slightly breezy day in Bicknell, Indiana. Um, explain to us what's going on here today on a beautiful Saturday. Be happy to. We are uh, we are basically thanking the community, the community of Knox County, for the support they've shown for our IGCC project. Uh, from day one, they were behind us and showed up in numbers. This may be the largest construction project in the state of Indiana's history, quite frankly, and it's right here in Knox County. We'll have 2,000 people uh, on the ground uh, doing the work, uh, so that's adding to the community. Permanent jobs will be 100, 120, somewhere in that ballpark. So who wins from this? Who benefits? Is it, is it Duke Energy? Is it people here in the community? Is it Indiana? Well, I think the incredible show of support we have here in the community today tells you the community clearly benefits. Uh, this is, it provides tax base for communities that have had distressed economic times and challenges. Uh, it provides uh, jobs for the community as well. It provides follow-on jobs for businesses around the site. And I think all of the customers of Indiana benefit because Coal is such an abundant, low-cost resource for us to use as a generating uh, as a generating resource. You, you don't want to take it out and, and just take it out off the table as a as a potential resource. So, if you want to keep electricity prices relatively low over the long run, you got to find a way to make coal work. And our pollution control investments are part of that story. New investments like Edwardsport is another part of that story. We've invested uh, about five billion dollars in capital over the last decade, cleaning up the plants across our uh, system, uh, installing pollution control equipment here in Indiana, in Ohio, Kentucky, and in the two uh, uh, North and South Carolina. All right, so if you took coal out of the mix here in Indiana, w what's the impact on everybody here? It would be hugely devastating from a customer expense standpoint and probably a reliability standpoint as well. So to ensure the future, Duke has the foresight to make sure you spend the capital now to make sure you're not only uh, keeping up with demand 10 years down the road, keep, keeping an eye on the environment, but you're keeping rates low for the people in small towns and communities all around the state. That's exactly right. Uh, I mean, it is all about keeping a low cost, abundant generating resource in the mix in the most environmentally beneficial way you can.